Okay, we're going to do a video today to show you how to take the front bumper off a Rover 75. Now, it should be pretty much the same on the saloon. This is a tour we're doing today. The um, reason we're doing this is primarily to uh, change the headlights, but you may want to do it for, for another reason. So we'll show you how to go. Now, what we've done initially is we've shown you where all the, the mounting points are with these bits of masking tape on. So if I, if I pass the camera over to Tom, and if you stay back, Tom, I can then point out. So basically, you've got a row of screws along the top. You've got two above each headlight, and then you've got these five along the top of the grille the other two. All right, and then we've got a screw in here which actually goes up up under there. Okay. And the same the other side. And then you've got all the ones along the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten along the bottom there. And they're the ones that go up into the into the under tray. Now a bit of advice, we've we've masked the wings over because when you've undone all the screws, you'll see we'll, we'll zip through it and you give this a, a, a pull off, it docks into a panel here. Um, it can kick out, especially if you're doing it on your own. So it, it's probably reasonable advice to mask these um, just to stop this when the bumper comes off, just flipping up and scratching the thing. Although we've got a couple of us here on this today. Um, so right, so let me just, we've loosened all these screws. All these top screws are the same. Okay, so they're just the threaded, so we'll just whip those out. Yep, so again, they're all the same, so it doesn't matter which order you get so them. So the screws on, the, these are the trickier ones, and you could turn the wheel, but we've, we've loosened this here. Um, you put, a, it's a crosshead driver that you screw up in there. We've loosened this one already. But if you spin the wheel the other way, it'll give you a bit more access. Okay, so it's a little self-tapper there. So we've done the other one. So now under the bottom, originally they had a quarter turn fastener that you just turn quarter of a turn and then it popped out. Um, we've lost all of those and there have been some, some screws put in. Um, so we won't show you that, but basically yeah, you'll have to undo those, those 10 fasteners at the bottom. Okay, now one thing we have just done is it's probably good at good idea to leave this one middle bolt in and that will stop the bumper flying off as you snap it off. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is actually remove the indicators. So these indicators are on a spring clip so if you get this bottom corner here and just prise it out okay, and then it slips out. So it's got a little dog at the top there that locates up and it's got these spring clips at the bottom there there, those two at the bottom so if you can lever it out and then just disconnect this one here. Let me have a look how we go disconnecting this one. Uh, this has lost its metal spring clip, has it? Let's have a go. Right, and we'll give up on that and we'll just twist the whole assembly out, okay? So we'll remove that. We'll do the same on the other side. So again, you just get the bottom and pull that out, okay? And we'll take those out, okay. And what that will enable us to do is one less bit of wiring to take out, and also it gives us a fairly good grip when we're looking to pull this out, okay. So we should now be able to get our arm in behind the wheel arch liner here. Tom, do you want to just come in? So we've got the wheel arch liner here, which should sit on the outside. We can just get in behind that and give this a So that's that front out. Now, if we just lift up the mask in here, let me have a look. Okay, what, what you've got is these these slots here go into this little dock here, and it, it goes in and bites and grips it, okay? So that's that. Now, it's not going anywhere because we've got the middle bolt on. Okay, so I should be able to grab this side. Again, let me just get behind the wheel arch liner. Okay, so there you go. That's the second side. Right then, Guy, do you want to grab on the other? You can spin that out by hand. And now, obviously it's still connected, the wiring's still connected, so if we leave that there, and then slide it forward, okay, 
Right, and then we've got a wiring connection here. Hold on. Right. Yeah, so if we go along here, we have got a connector. We can push on here. Yeah. So if you just push this little tag down at the back, it'll release the connection. And then you can release that one there. We've got... Okay. So that's that. We've got some aftermarket wiring on here. We're going to have to disconnect for some daytime running lights. Um, but we'll, we'll disconnect that. And then we'll... So that'll be... Have we got those? We've got some the black and the red. Okay, and that's that's the bumper completely disconnected now. So we'll do another video to show you now how to remove the to remove the headlights.